COVID-19 risk factors for ADHD. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you what the three main risk factors for people with ADHD are during this different and strange pandemic time. Okay, the number one issue is isolation and not being able to be socially engaged with other people. So number one, isolation. And now that the world's opening up a little bit more, hopefully uh, if you struggle with ADHD or your child does, you're able to get out into the world a little bit more and to be able to engage with people so that you can stave off that isolation and get engaged and get that brain into that middle zone of being able to produce some calm focus because it's engaging with other people. When someone with ADHD is in isolation for a long time, that theta mode that's already being used excessively, slow speed, can go up even more from not engaging with people in a social manner. So that's why that avoiding isolation and getting out there into the world and engaging can really be powerful for people with ADHD. Okay, number two, the number two risk factor for ADHD during an isolated pandemic is motivation. So motivation's at issue in the first place when it comes to ADHD. So just to back up and to remind you, an ADHD brain pattern is one that is using too much slowing in the brain, too much theta. And basically theta is fall asleep mode. So if your brain is using too much shift into sleep mode, it's difficult for you to get motivated in the first place. But the people with ADHD that are most successful find a routine that really works for them to create that get up and go that they need to keep them on track while giving them plenty of time to recover from having to put their brain into that calm focus mode as best as they can and for as long as they can. So if, they're, if the breakdown in that routine is happening, due to COVID-19, that motivational piece might be more difficult. And I know I've heard some for, from so many families that when their children are basically in control of their own learning with online learning happening right now, that can be very difficult for a child or a teenager or a young adult with ADHD to get motivated enough to attend all their Zooms. When you drop your child off at school in the morning, he has to follow the school day routine to be able to move through all of his classes. When he's sitting in his bedroom and he's able to get on games or able to lay around in his bed on his phone, it's more difficult to get motivated. So providing salient rewards and rewarding him for attending all of his Zooms or each one of his Zooms each day can be a powerful tool. Now the last, the third risk factor for people with ADHD is just engagement in the real world because we know that ADHD brains seek out stimulation that is also calming, like in gaming, like in trolling Instagram or Facebook, like in watching TV. All of those activities feel really great to the ADHD brain because it calms it and stimulates it simultaneously. What's more difficult is going out and going outside each day to play basketball or actually going to do something IRL, as I tell my beautiful children every day, that they have to go outside, which can be difficult to do again, because if your child's at home learning online, there may not be kids knocking at the door, kind of forcing them out the door for some activity in the afternoon. Now he has to go do that engagement by himself. And as a parent, or if you are an adult who's struggling with this, you have to force yourself to do it until your new routine is built. Routine, I guess, is one of the most powerful words in offsetting the risk factors for ADHD and COVID-19 because if you get into your albeit new routine during this time, it can really serve you. So what that routine looks like in my home with my five children is they move in and out of their Zooms each day for school. We make sure, and I hold them accountable to make sure that all of their school activities are done before they can even contemplate gaming or trolling Instagram or FaceTiming friends. And it's mandatory that they go outside and move their bodies. So every day they basically get done with school. I make them a healthy lunch every day, whether they like it or not. And then they go outside and move their bodies 
on these beautiful North Carolina days, thank goodness. And then they can engage in a little bit of screen time to be able to connect with friends. And the way that I do it is they can play video games, but it has to be social with other kids. And that is really a positive way of using gaming right now because it is the way that they are connecting. So, so my girls don't really play video games, but uh, actually they're playing more and more Minecraft, COVID-19, right? Hashtag COVID-19. But um, they will want to do FaceTime with their friends. And again, they have to move their body and all their school work has to be complete. Then we eat dinner together. We spend some family time together on the front porch. Again, whether they like it or not. And then they can have more downtime to themselves. Build your new COVID-19 routine to gain success with ADHD and to offset those risk factors. Okay, I hope that helps you out. And remember, control your brain or it'll control you.